Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD. And yes, a quick tip. Uh, I'm building my infrastructure with you guys at the, the server room show that we do every day, Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, I haven't configured my MDT to automatically join uh, computers to the domain. So I have Windows 10 Enterprise right now, which I am testing it out. And I'm going to show you guys how to manually add it to a domain, which is really complicated. Uh, so I got my virtual machine right here, and this is build 1703. We're going to right click on a start menu. We're going to go into system. Within system, you want to go into connect to work or school. Once you get to this option right here, just click on connect. You're going to get an additional dialog box to pop up. It's going to want you to add an email address to log into your work or school account. Uh, if you don't have that, go at the bottom right here. We are going to do a local active directory domain. Uh, let's enter our domain. This is going to be different for your environment. Hit enter and we are going to uh, give it an administrative account that has access to our domain controller. Make sure I type that all right and press OK. And okay, this is awesome. So, standard or administrator, how cool is that? This is pretty new. Add an account into the account info for the person who will be using this PC. If you skip this uh, step, the person will have a default permission for the domain. So, we're going to do administrator because this is an administrative account. We're going to do uh, next, and uh, we're going to restart now. And that's it, guys. That is how you add. Um, a Windows 10 manually to a domain controller really complicated but uh, I guess that's the way Microsoft wants to push it out for everyone hopefully you guys enjoy this quick tip and I catch you guys on the next one peace out